em là bạn của con của nga hả à? con của gì nga hả gì nga bạn 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 của con của gì nga dạ đúng rồi họ nhờ em về đây để để tìm gia đình lại Wait a minute. In order for this family reunion to eventually happen later on in the video, let's backtrack. As I landed in Da Nang, I was worried about whether or not I would even be successful at finding someone's family members. They lost contact over 20 years ago and haven't seen each other in person in 50 years. So I was a bit nervous. I was also nervous about something else. Okay. Ở sân bay Sài Gòn á, ừ. em ăn gà rán à, Và em nghĩ là có thể em nuốt cái xương À, chắc là cổ hậu Trong cái ngang ngực à. Sao em có cảm giác là đi bị kẹt trong lúc Ok Two hours later <laughs> I'm smiling, so it's it's relatively good news uh, Of x-ray and um, they said that there wasn't anything in there, but I still feel like there's something in there. So they said that it's likely my esophagus uh, was scratched from swallowing the bone. But I still feel something, but you know what? I don't want to worry about it too much right now because uh, I didn't come to Da Nang for this, even though I got a great souvenir. Um, I came to Da Nang for something else. So let's start the video. And hello guys, I really missed you. Did you miss me? And this is Tadun, by the way. Hello. He's, he's the men of the Nang. <laughs> so here's what happened. Someone reached out to me because his mom, named Nga, currently living in the US, lost contact with her family in Vietnam. All she remembered was the name of a market, Jabareng, and a bridge, Gaobareng. She told me she used to do laundry by the river and the bridge was on the left side of her home. She also told me her parents' names and her siblings' names. That's all the info I had. Family names, a bridge, and a market. And that's all the info I needed. And after passing the bridge, when I got to the market, all that was left was a pile of rubble. At first, I just wanted to ask about the market. I asked the very first lady I saw after stepping out of the car, and she was all I needed. It all happened too quickly, faster than I could process. Was this for reals? I could barely understand this woman. How could the first person I asked know exactly who I was looking for? She asked me about this seat. It was actually Go Nga's childhood nickname. Go Nga even forgot about her own name. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, 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 oh,
I just fell into a hole. I hope the camera is okay. Mình nghe cô Nga là là làm mình ngạc nhiên phải không? Mình mình quá ngạc nhiên tại vì làm quá lâu, quá lâu rồi tìm không được thông tin tích luôn để hỏi hỏi thăm cùng mà không được. Tại vì ở bên Mỹ mà mà sao mình ở đây mình biết bên đó được. Đó là cái cầu hà hà hà. Cầu bà rán đó. Đó giặt 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 đồ là giặt ở tại cái bánh này cái mình ngó bên kia là Đúng rồi đúng rồi. Đó trái là cái cầu á. Dạ dạ cô nói nhưng mà sao cô Nga cô cô nhớ. Cô nhớ cô nhớ tại This is one of her brothers. When Go Nga left home he was around 11 or 12 years old. And after talking to him I found out that he had a friend in America come visit some of the addresses from the old letters that were sent to him. He kept them all, but unfortunately back then Gongya moved around constantly. Her husband also passed away around 20 years ago, and he was the bridge that connected the two sides, and they lost contact completely since then. But don't worry, that's going to change very soon. But first, let's eat dinner. And this was a lovely little family-style meal as more siblings were alerted by the surprising news, and they all slowly but surely started showing up. Nhưng mà lúc mà mất liên lạc đó là cô cô nghĩ làm sao chứ là mất liên lạc thấy bữa không 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 nghĩ bữa trách mà nghĩ nghĩ bữa thắt lọt ở đà đó. Nghĩ cũng nghĩ bữa nhắc bữa đà bữa trách ở đây nhưng mà giống như là không có cách nào cô liên lạc bên đó. Tại tại vì bình thường là cổ gọi qua đây phải không? Chứ cô không bay gọi qua bên đó. Nhau nhập nhau ấy. Dạ cảm ơn cảm ơn. Ồ, oh, nói chung là nói chung là con nghe được miền Trung rồi, nói chung là cũng cái cái công sự rất tiến bộ. Ra được cái tiếng nuối của mình là ra cũng kinh điển đó. I briefly forgot about the time zone differences, but the anticipation was just too much and I decided to give America an early wake up call. I'm I'm sitting in your uncle's house right now and all of your aunts and uncles are here. And they they really want to talk to your mom because it's kind of late over here. And I'm sorry for the time zone difference. I totally forgot. I thought you got. I thought we were 12 hours apart. I'm really sorry. Is is there is there a way you can wake wake your mom up because everyone's here? Yes, yes, yes. Call back video FaceTime, and, and they'll they'll be here. Everything is really happening very quickly. <laughs> this is the quickest family search I've ever done. And uh, I called uh, the sister uh, of the person David who reached out to me because uh, she lives with her mom. And it's 5 a.m. over there. I woke them up because everyone's here. All the, all the siblings are here. And I'm just waiting on them to call me back via FaceTime. I'm very excited. Um, she's been gone from Vietnam for 50 years, and they've lost contact for over 20 years. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Actually, well, why do I need to cross the fingers anymore? We already found them. I died trong đây. À, khỏe. Biết rồi, Dinh là biết rồi Biết chứ Biết rồi Tại vì sắp làm nhiều quá rồi chị bên này buồn lắm em ơi Chờ chị không biết em đâu Ừ Gì đó Em có biết chị không? Biết cho thằng khóm <cười> Chính mùi đây, con chính đây nè Chính này Chính đâu? Em đây Chính đây hả? Dạ Chính đây hả? <cười> Tôi sắp đồ cho bà đi ra chuồng heo bà đi mà ra không biết bà Xong đây Nhớ cho ra không nhớ Một đây một đó chị Dạ <cười> Biết là không biết Biết là biết tay vậy thôi chứ Đã có nhỏ quá đã có biết gì gì đó <cười> Chị, 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 chị,
chị nói chị buồn quá chị nói chị về chị ở luôn ở tìm mấy cậu mấy gì về bên nó ở mấy cậu mấy gì buồn bà bên nó vui còn ở đây đi ra đi vô nhà ăn không được rồi ngủ không được rồi rồi cái đầu nó đau bị đau nhức cái em nhức khớp đó rồi nó làm cho chị không được vui lắm ừ. Rồi chị cứ đòi về quà mà chị đâu biết được đâu mà đi về Chị biết rồi, chị biết rồi liên hệ địa chỉ với tụi anh sao rồi chị chị có về không? Hey, bye bye chào mọi người, chào mọi người cảm ơn nha Cảm ơn cảm ơn bye Bye. Hey. Wow. Bye. <laughs> Hang up luck. And I will see them again. And you'll see them in the next video. You don't want to miss the next video. A full documentary about a reunion. A return home after 51 years. You don't want to miss it. It's one of my best works in recent times. Good news. Hopefully the autofocus is a lot more reliable than in the past and hopefully you notice the quality in the full frame upgrade. The camera is a lot heavier now than before, so better news. Go Nga is going to be back home to Vietnam very soon. Her kids immediately booked flights for, for her and themselves. 50 years she hasn't been back and it's going to happen very, very soon. And I'm very happy, 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 so happy for them. And David, thank you so much for reaching out and being such a great son for your mom like that. I wish I could do more of these. I wish I could reunite a family every day. And I know I helped David and his family, but they definitely helped me as well. There's nothing more than I would love to, to be able to, to do this kind of content, right? But it's not that simple. It's not like there are families lined up waiting for me to just help them, right? Because you have to factor in scheduling, resources, and information. Sometimes you might have all the money in the world, but if you don't have the information, it might be very, very difficult. Money definitely helps. Speaking of which, I'm sorry for not being able to make more content. I would if I could. I'm trying to figure out what my career is. I'm trying to figure out what is it that I can do to find more stability. And honestly, the fact that I don't know what's gonna happen in the next week or two is a very scary thought. And some of you might think it's so adventurous. Whoa, yeah, but it's also very, very scary at the same time. So that's why I have to take on projects outside of YouTube. In the last year and a half, I've been very fortunate to have been hired to work on a project about a man trying to find his father. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but let's just say the outcome of that video was one of the highlights, not just of my year, but of my life. And it's not gonna be on YouTube. It's gonna be hopefully on TV or uh, on a film festival or somewhere. Distribution is another aspect as well, right? It's such a great story. Something that Hollywood can't even craft if some writer sat down and started penning away. I can't wait to share that with you. Even though it's not my documentary, but I'm featured heavily in it and I have to find outside work like this in order to just make myself live and function and, and learn and grow, right? That film project really helped me learn how to make better videos and understand my own value. I've been also showing some of my viewers Vietnam. Of course, the touristy places, the great food spots, and just over 10 plus years of my experience traveling in Vietnam. I've been able to have some great moments with you guys and really getting to know your families and these very small, intimate tours. But I'm not calling myself a tour guide. That's, I'm far from it. But I've been able to help these people document these journeys, right? One family wanted to reconnect with their cousins uh, somewhere deep in North Vietnam. And their father basically helped build this village and they wanted to come back to reconnect to, to see what's up. And they brought their whole family, all their family and kids and stuff like that. And it was such a great time to be able to spend it with them, to document, to make a film about their father and, and, and that experience. And then more recently, 
uh, a mother brought her three adult children back to Vietnam to show them for the first time together that, hey, this is where we're from. This is the ham, the alley where we're from. These are the people that helped me. Uh, this is the church that uh, the son used to hang out with. And, and again, thank you, Hui, for giving me these opportunities to, to, to these moments with you, you and your family. Like it's, these moments have been some of the greatest highlights of the past year, few months for me. And at the same time, some of the lows have come because of the lack of stability. And so if these things sound interesting for you, right? If you wanted to come to Vietnam and for some reason you're not able to or don't know how and want somebody to plan the logistical aspects like where to stay, where to go. I can come up with an itinerary for you. I can, I can take care of from A to Z and pick you up from the airport and drop you off and even make a documentary of your trip as well. So if this is something that's interesting for you, please write me. Please let me know what's up. I don't know my scheduling. I don't know how long I'm going to be here or whatever, but let's talk. Write me and then we can figure it out. And then the other thing that I really want to do more are private oral family history documentaries. I know it's a mouthful, but basically what it is is I sit down with your parents or your grandparents, I interview them, I make a clip, a video um, of their experiences of how they got to America, how they got to Canada or wherever else, right? Their life story from Vietnamese with English subtitles that I personally do myself. I edit and I do everything myself. So. If this is something that's interesting for you or you're interested or you always want wanting to do this, just write me and hire me. And I would really, really appreciate that because again, right now my life is very, very unstable. And I need to find opportunities outside of YouTube in order to live and occasionally make more YouTube videos. Speaking of uh, not knowing what's gonna happen next, uh, just a few days ago, I have been blessed with the opportunity to be able to travel to Australia. Nothing is set in stone yet. It's just a verbal agreement, but I've always wanted to, to go there. I've always wanted to visit the Vietnamese diaspora and to eat pho there. So it would, it's a, definitely a dream come true. And I get to make uh, a documentary over there uh, about someone and something that I've been wanting to redo, right? Uh, again, nothing is set in stone. So I'll tell you more about it as it, as it, as it, as it comes, but uh, if you remember the Vic Q man who went to Vietnam and went missing, uh, the last time I made uh, a proper documentary about him was over six, seven years ago. And I've always wanted to kind of visit where he's from and to talk to his friends and you know, make a really good documentary and uh, perhaps revisit some uh, institutions and other places and, and just give it a go again, right? Because I constantly think about this case uh, almost every single day and um, hopefully uh, things will work out and uh, whether or not we find them I don't know I don't know and uh, so to answer some of your questions because people ask me all the time hey, what happened to him well he hasn't been found yet and his brother and I want to want to try again okay that's it uh, thank you if you made it this far of me standing on Mike Beach uh, rambling uh, about life and stuff like that I, I just again thank you it's been really tough it's been great, it's been miserable, it's been the lowest of the lows, the highest of the highs the past year. I wish I can make more content and I will just when there's something to make and opportunities uh, that will enable me to to share more stories with you. And <sighs> what a journey it's been. And uh <sighs> <laughs> no, sometimes I just think back, like, you know, what happened uh, yesterday. It's just like, wow, you know? Wow. It's great to be a part of it so much, you know? And, uh, yeah. But if you want to stay up to date with me, uh, feel free to check out my Instagram and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, try to make uh, more when I can. Um, but, uh, you know, again, if I could, I would. <laughs>